the 2020 Virtual Graduation Ceremony with the Anchorage School District and DeVale. DeVale graduates, congratulations. Your hard work and tenacity has got you to this point and you'll be receiving your diploma through the mail. Unfortunately, I can't shake your hand and give it to you myself due to the COVID-19 virus and school being shut down early. Um, I really enjoyed my time at Avail. The community that the staff has built at Avail is amazing. I always have so much fun. Um, unfortunately, I can't be there every day. Um, Miss Hernandez was the lucky one and got to be there a lot more often. Uh, nevertheless, we are both very proud of the work that you have done. I know many of you have had um, rocky academic paths to travel. Um, the important thing is that you continue to learn uh, as you move on in life from this point forward. Um, it's important too that in this time of celebration that you think about the folks that supported you and got you here. You didn't make it this far on your own. Um, make sure that you thank them and it could be one of the great teachers at Avail or maybe your parents or your grandparents or a friend or an aunt or uncle but it's important that you take this time and show some gratitude and let them know how much you appreciate their support. Uh, once again, congratulations, and I'm very proud of the work that you have done and look forward to hearing of the great things that you do in your future. I've met a lot of amazing students these past two years at Avail. It's a really special place, and whenever I try to explain it to people, I think about those students. As I was telling this student recently, though, there is one that I think has really made me realize just what Avail is all about. He would always be the first student there in the morning and we would always get a little time to chat. And seeing his success, his growth, his amazing attitude, that was the first time I fully understood what our school can be for students like him. I've since had this experience many times, but I'll always owe it to Will Kuzma for what he taught me. I'm overwhelmed with pride that he's graduating from Avail. Congrats, buddy. There's a certain type of person that just emanates fun. And try as you might, you can't help but laugh when they're around. Every time I had this student in class, I knew that there would be times I had to play the teacher and try to limit the distractions, but it was so hard because I always wanted to laugh with him. He cracked me up every day, even when I tried to hide it. I know that his positive energy and great attitude will serve him well. They say humor is a sign of intelligence and to Corey DeJourney has it in spades. I feel lucky to know him. Congrats to Corey. One of the most important skills to success in life is knowing how to present yourself well. You earn people's respect, their trust, and you develop the confidence to accomplish great things. This student is courteous, focused, professional, and skilled. Whether it is his top of the line term projects, his dedication to his health, or his penchant for showing up dressed like he works on Wall Street, Julius Ashenfelter is an impressive guy, and I'm sure he will continue to impress wherever he goes in life. Well done, sir. During the very first class I ever taught at Avail, I looked out at the class and noticed that a student had this piercing grin on her face, and I immediately began to think, is she up to something? Should I check my chair for a thumbtack? It didn't take long for me to realize that these worries were ridiculous. She was smiling because she was interested in class. It made even more sense when I started seeing the brilliance of the work she turned in. The only thing she's ever been up to is being an amazing, bright student and a wonderful, nice person. I'm so proud to see Aria Gaines graduate high school today. You earned this. Even though I just met this student this semester, I feel like I got to know who he is as a person really well. He came to his avail with his sights set on graduation and it is not surprising to me at all that he has achieved that goal and as an 11th grader no less. When he is in class, everyone works harder. He is calm, kind, and has an amazing can-do attitude. He's a sort of student that will not just get his work done but help others understand what they need to do. Over spring break, instead of taking a week off, he completed a 40-hour construction academy. If that's what he decides to do, I know I would feel really safe if I was in a building that Patrick Leoff worked on. Good job, Patrick. 
I may not be the ultimate authority on what it means to be cool, but I think that what really makes us think of something someone is cool is when they are unflinchingly, unapologetically, and confidently themselves. When I think of this student, though, I think of him as being just that, but without a shred of arrogance or unpleasantness. He is kind, caring, genuine, passionate, hilarious, creative, and extremely bright. He is always up for a good conversation, whether it be about esoteric abstract ideas, groovy movies and music, or just the little things. I think it's pretty cool that I got to know Dante Morales. The world is lucky to have him. There's something infinitely admirable about a person with drive. Recent events have reminded us all how easy it can be to lose motivation or struggle to kick ourselves into action. When I think of this student, I think of the days that she would sit in my room until the teachers were leaving, working diligently, writing pages more than assignments required, asking insightful questions, and taking home classic novels to read just for fun, all the while maintaining her signature sunny disposition. The room lights up when Catherine Tuano walks in, and when she starts working on something, there's no stopping her. I admire her positivity and her work ethic so much. It makes total sense that she's earned her diploma. Congrats, Catherine. Tony's older brother graduated from Avail two years ago, so you could say he's carrying on a legacy. And though Tony is usually seen hanging with his friends and family, he's made his own unique mark upon our Avail family. He keeps his sense of humor and keeps his cool even when things get crazy, like the time we watched a car accident outside my classroom window. And Tony brings his positive energy with him whether he is at school, playing ball, or helping stun a blow up on SoundCloud. Congratulations, Tony. JJ is a kind person who makes friends easily. His friends Lucho and Robert encouraged him to finish school, but JJ earned it. JJ earned his diploma with his brains and ability, but also because he is resilient. JJ doesn't let his personal hardships get in the way of participating in life. He jumps over life's hurdles the way he jumps over defenders or dribbles around them on a basketball court. Also, JJ is successful because he's willing to try new things. I'll always remember how JJ tried the NYO sports during an Avail field trip. So JJ, keep trying new things and keep participating in life. We are proud of you. Isabel is an impressive young lady. She's a valued member of her church community. She truly seeks to help others. She spent many hours volunteering at Gladys Wood Elementary. And when schools closed, she made baskets for nurses. Isabel has academic ability and showed her business sense by selling cosmetics online. And Isabel is probably the most polite and respectful person you will ever meet. But what Isabel does best is what she does for others. Thank you for coming to Avail. It was a pleasure to work with you. Lonnie is an AMYA graduate with quiet confidence and strength. Lonnie knows how to get the job done. This year made all of us do schoolwork at home, but Lonnie was able to keep up, even with three dogs running around and 16 hours of babysitting each day. She is surely looking forward to getting work outside the house soon. Lonnie demonstrated maturity and commitment to her family and to reach her goal of graduation. Along the way, we had some good times and even registered to vote. Lonnie is ready for whatever the future holds. It can be difficult to fit in at a new school, but you wouldn't know it by looking at Rachel. She can talk easily with peers and adults on many subjects, and Rachel fit right in to avail on day one. She's an excellent writer with an artistic personality and unique sense of style. Rachel is an independent thinker who is able to consider a wide variety of opinions and then choose her own best option. Rachel has the ability to complete college and tackle the business world, or even by making her own path to success. Good job, Rachel. Austin finished high school early by staying focused and working hard. He is capable and ready to start his future. College will be a good opportunity for Austin as he does very well in academic pursuits. His interests include electronics and computers. He has wonderful support in our community, and the world is ready and waiting for him to do great things. Congratulations, Austin Lind. Carlos is ready for college. 
As a talented and motivated student and gifted athlete, college is the next step for pursuing his dreams. Missing out on the spring track season was a major disappointment for not only Carlos, but his family as well. His mom, dad, and siblings were looking forward to watching him compete and to share in his triumphs. I guess they're going to have to wait until next year when he's a college freshman. Congratulations, Carlos Soto. Dylan is a young man with a caring family who have supported him through good times and bad. I suspect they may feel that they have earned this diploma right along with him, and they have. But it's been Dylan who spent the hours reading and writing and answering question after question in social studies, math, and science. It is Dylan who, as a writer, has so eloquently examined his own life and shared recognition of the family support, along with paying tribute to many teachers he's encountered along the way. It is Dylan, now a father himself, who will lead his young son to a bright future. Congratulations, Dylan Johnson. Gabby is a bright young woman with a marketable sense of fashion. She's an artist, hardworking and determined to succeed. I'm impressed with her desire and envision her opening her own vintage clothing store in the future. I am proud of her for continuing to pursue her education despite the many challenges she has faced. Congratulations, Gabriela Guerrero. Gary grew up in Northwest Alaska and moved to Anchorage to attend AMYA and then stayed on to finish high school in the Anchorage School District. His final year in ASD was spent both in the Avail Classroom site on C Street and at night school. We were pleased to have him complete his education this January as he not only attended school, but worked with South Central Foundation's RAISE program. As a RAISE intern, Gary's job experience included sites on the ANMC campus as well as off-site at the Elder program. Gary enjoys working with older Alaskans and additionally is especially grateful for his loving and supporting grandmother. We are proud of you for completing high school, Gary. Congratulations, Gary Westlake. Hennessy's is sweet, charming, smart, and kind. This has been a difficult year for her, but she has persevered and come out shining. Family is very important to her and a central theme in her writing. She is proud of what she's brought with her from Puerto Rico and the DR to her home in Alaska, traditions, food, and family. I am proud of how hard she works and how focused she has been on graduating from high school this year. She has a delightful sense of humor, which the staff thoroughly enjoyed, especially when she called Robbie Everett old upon seeing him with her new glasses. Her bright smile each evening brought warmth to our classroom. Congratulations, Hennessy's Hernandez Mejias. Jaden has done very well in high school. Looking at his high school transcript, you'll see a lot of A's. He knows how to do school and obviously does well in many subjects. As we struggle through the recent change to online learning, our classroom has missed Jaden in his positive outlook. Jaden will do well in the future with whatever he decides to do, college, the military, or job corps. Welcome to Life After High School, Jaden Archuleta. I first met Giselle when he was in sixth grade. Even then, he was charming and charismatic. Now as a high school graduate and one of Avail's UAA scholars, Giselle's future is bright. His intellect and curiosity, coupled with determination, will carry him far on the path to success. Giselle's Shark Tank presentation during economics is memorable, and as one who would enjoy more sunshine, I look forward to his creation of the Weather Dome, which is guaranteed to provide sunshine all year long in Alaska. As a teacher, it is inspiring to work with a student like Giselle, who is articulate and interested in the academic pursuit. He is a quick thinker and open to new concepts and ideas. College offers him opportunity to create from his interest in culinary arts to graphic design to whatever else inspires him. The future is yours, Giselle Tipavong Huayco. Go forth and reach your goals. Congratulations. I saw Josiah today, surrounded by his loving family, and handed him his cap and gown through the passenger window of my car. I'd spoken with his mom earlier in the day as she was excited to get some pictures of him wearing it. I could tell that she is so proud of Josiah and aware of his potential for great things. He's a gifted athlete with strong academic skills. I'm hoping that he realizes that he could combine both and become a teacher. 
Education needs smart young men like Josiah. College needs smart young men like Josiah. Our community needs smart young men like Josiah. His gentle nature, sly sense of humor, and caring personality will get him wherever he wants to go. We are so very proud of you. Congratulations, Josiah Pelinato. Kathy most often came into our classroom smiling and happy to see staff and her classmates. She got some extra time with ASD, I'm guessing because she just loved high school. We were so pleased to see you and work with you and watch you smile when you realized that you had finished your last assignment and were graduating. You are a most capable young woman, able to do whatever you decide. You've been working for several years, so I know you are ready for your future. Congratulations, Kathleen Lowe. Kobe came to Avail Night School in January. I met Kobe during summer school in 2019 and liked the young man who coined a phrase that has followed me ever since. One June afternoon, I'd arranged for him to stay at school later to get caught up on some schoolwork. He wasn't particularly pleased, and when a friend asked why he wasn't leaving with many of the other students, he shared he'd gotten caught up in the barbed wire. Well, he's been caught up in that wire until recently, on May 1st, at close to midnight, he turned in his last assignment. I'm proud of you, Kobe, for keeping at it until you finished. I see a bright future for a very bright young man. Congratulations, Kobe Lacanus. It has been a pleasure to watch Lance grow from a teenager to a young man in the past 18 months. He came to Avail last spring, and by the end of summer, he was back on track. Lance finished most of his courses in December, attending night school in King Tech simultaneously. Motivated by his faith and a loving family, Lance is a positive role model for his younger siblings. In the future, Lance plans to own his own shop for customizing cars. Hard work, family, and faith are his priorities. We are all so very proud of you and know you will reach your goals. Congratulations, Lance Pafua. Michael is an affable young man who is more than ready to graduate. He has worked hard this semester to finish the three classes he needed to graduate. He has a wonderful, caring, and supportive family who do not hesitate to pass messages on to him when he somehow misses my phone calls. He's one of many students I work with who are much more likely to respond to a text at 11 p.m. than 11 a.m. Though this has been a tough school year for Michael, he has done well to graduate on time with the class of 2020. Congratulations, Michael Lilo Maeva. Ricky is carrying on family tradition with her graduation from Avail. All of the staff is so very proud of her hard work and determination. After AMYA, Ricky returned to Avail focused on graduating. It took her a bit, partly because she had been working full-time at Green Connection. Ricky, Pedro and all of us at Avail want to say congratulations, Ricky Canerlac, and keep up the good work. Sherry has continued to go to school these past months, while almost every other student has stayed home. That's because, like me, Sherry is an ASD employee. She had been working for student nutrition full-time first at Wonder Park Elementary and now at Fairview Elementary, making sure that hungry children get fed. In addition to her job and her beloved puppy, Sherry has been working to finish high school. As we have gotten closer to the end of the school year, Sherry has become determined to become a 2020 graduate. Now that you're finished high school, how about starting college to become a teacher? ASD needs caring young teachers like you. Congratulations, Sherry Murphy. Sonny is a very social student. It was rare when he came to school without a smile on his face, wandering and happy to see everyone and wanting to chat before he did schoolwork. Then again, most often he came to class after an eight-hour work day and needed some social time before he could settle down. He has continued to complete high school as he works a 10-hour day these last weeks of school. We are proud of you, Sonny, for keeping at it and succeeding. You are setting a good example for your young son. And thank you, Uncle Tommy, for taking your phone to Sonny when he wasn't answering my calls. You have a family who cares and supports you, just as we do, too. Congratulations, Sonny Luamanu. Trey is the second in his family to graduate from Avail's night school. He is a young man with strong intellect and gifted artistic ability. 
His plan has been to attend Fort Lewis College in Colorado. Trey was selected in March as one of 10 national candidates to Annie E. Casey Foundation's National Leap Fellowship, where with his creative, intelligent, and gifted abilities will work to bring youth voice into national programming decisions and build new opportunities for young people. I am proud of Trey and I'm looking forward to his continued contributions to our Alaskan community. Congratulations, Trey Greenwald. I have had the privilege of working with Luann Anarek for the last two years. When she first came to my class, she thought she'd never be able to graduate. Over the past two years, she's faced numerous challenges and struggled at times to believe in herself. However, with each obstacle, I have seen her come out stronger and more sure of herself. Luann is hardworking, creative, and she has been a joy to work with. I'm so incredibly happy to present Luann Anarek as a 2020 graduate. Robbie Watson, I admire your empathy, how you use your intelligence to connect with people rather than as a wall to separate you from others. In a place where many struggle with conflict, you build friendships. People gravitate toward you, and you accept them and relate to them in a very meaningful way. You are so smart that you can do anything you put your mind to. More importantly, though, you're good. You're a kind, good person and you deserve all that you are capable of achieving. I'm grateful to have been your teacher this year. Now, Robbie Watson, go make your dreams come true. Stevenson Fa'aolo started this year in my classroom not long after moving to Anchorage from Samoa. Transitioning to a new place can overwhelm many, but Steve went into every new experience with enthusiasm. One of the first activities we did as a school was to play softball. Steve was a natural, and I was shocked to hear that he had no prior experience with baseball or softball. Steve is a talented athlete, artist, and student. I look forward to learning about all the ways he applies these talents in the future. Congratulations, Stevenson Fa'aolo. Ariana Schuster. It was fun getting to know Ariana this past school year, both inside and outside the classroom. Initially, she comes across as quiet and a wee bit shy. However, as Ariana came out of her shell and I got to know her better, I could see a positive and sophisticated young woman. She's a great friend to others, an excellent team member, and has a delightful sense of humor. Watching Ariana and her friends laugh together and share their moments has been a delight to witness. Ariana determined early on that she wanted to graduate early. She created her to-do list and then set about completing and che checking off each class. Ariana will be a success in life no matter what she puts her mind to. Congratulations on your graduation from high school. Julie Samoa. Congratulations to Julie. Julie is a bright and shining star. She's a natural born leader and certainly a leader here at Avail. She's an excellent role model for others. She has overcome personal challenges in order to pursue her own successes. She is willing to jump in and help other students when they are in need. Julie has a kind heart and a strong character. She has proven over and over again that she can overcome any obstacle set in her path. Julie is capable of attaining any goal she sets her sight on. Best wishes and good luck to Julie Samoa. Lorraine Fiti. I remember the first time I met Lorraine. She was friendly yet respectful. Her eyes twinkled when she spoke. I was immediately aware of the positive energy she carries with her. She's a very kind young woman, resourceful, a great friend to others, and has a sense of stick to itiveness. With regard to school and her goal of graduating, Lorraine always has her eyes on the prize. She is goal-oriented and knows what she wants after graduation. It has been my absolute pleasure to see her grow academically and as a young woman as she works toward her diploma. You can see the excitement in her each time we check off the completion of a class and she gets closer to her goal. You can see how happy she is and how ready she is to take the next big step. Congratulations, Lorraine Fiti. Natasha Wilson. It has been my pleasure to work with Natasha during her time at Avail. Natasha has always been quick to participate, focused on her education, and she is a hard worker. Natasha is always reliable, has great attendance, and is always inquisitive and eager to seek out new knowledge. She has what some people would refer to as grit. 
It seems that no matter what life throws at her, she is able to make that into her own personal success. Congratulations, Natasha Wilson. Skyla Sari. It has been a pleasure to get to know Skyla both inside and outside the classroom. Skyla is friendly, helpful, and kind. She's a hard worker and has a great work ethic. Skyla also has a great sense of humor. She's been super focused this year with the goal of graduating this spring. Despite the tremendous amount of stress and hard work required to be a spring graduate, Skyla has stayed focused and she has persisted throughout the process. Congratulations and best wishes to Skyla Sari. Bethany is a classic. She is focused, she is driven, and she is persistent. Bethany is a hard, hard worker. But if you mistook her small stature or soft voice for weakness, you would be making a huge mistake. Bethany is a powerhouse. She is very strong in her academics, has a strong sense of self, and is an excellent writer. Once Bethany determines what her goal is, there is nothing stopping her. Congratulations and best wishes to Bethany. It has been a pleasure getting to know and work with Kevin. Kevin is a consistent worker. He is not one to draw attention to himself, but instead makes steady progress. He works hard, is a great team player, and has a wonderful sense of humor. I have loved being able to watch Kevin open up in the classroom to other teachers and fellow students. He may speak quietly, but he has a booming personality. He has also been fun to watch him interact and have fun with other students his age. His smile is contagious. We are so very proud of Kevin as he makes this huge step. Congratulations on your graduation from Avail. Dr. Bishop, I have reviewed the records of each of the graduates and I verify that they have met the graduation requirements of the Anchorage School District. I am very proud to present to you the Avail Class of 2020. As superintendent of the Anchorage School District, I accept the class of 2020 from Avail, and I present these students to our school board for graduation. Congratulations, Avail. On behalf of the Anchorage School District School Board, I'm proud to accept the graduating class of Avail High School for the year 2020. Congratulations. the places you'll go. Congratulations, today is your day. You're off to great places, you're off and away. You look up and down streets, look them over with care. About some you will say, I don't choose to go there. With your head full of brains and your shoes full of feet, you're too smart to go down any not so good streets. on your way up, we'll be seeing great sights. We'll join the high flyers and soar to high heights. I'm sorry to say so, but sadly it's true that bang-ups and hang-ups can happen to you. You can get all hung up in a prickly perch and your game will fly on. You'll be left in the lurch.
get so confused that you'll start into a race, down long wiggled roads at a breakneck in pace, and grind on for miles toward weirdish wild space. On and on you will hike, and I know you'll hike far, and face up to your problems whatever they are. And will you succeed? Yes, you will indeed. 98 and 3 quarters percent guaranteed. Kid, you'll move mountains. Hi, my name is Natasha. I'm a 2020 graduate from Avail High School. I'm just here to give a big thank you to everybody, my family, my friends, my teachers, just everyone that was here to support me. And I wanted to say congratulations to everyone else graduating. It's crazy how quick it came and I'm just shocked it's already here. So thank you and congratulations. Have a good year and stay safe.